Hello children, in this video we will learn about the various sources of food. We all eat food every day, right? Some foods we eat are raw, some are cooked and some are a mixture of various ingredients. Have you ever thought about where all these foods come from? Come, let us find out. Before we find out where the foods come from, let us briefly understand the importance of food. We can define food as any substance that is used as a source of nourishment by an organism. Food is required to survive and be healthy, obtain energy, build tissue to grow and develop. Now sometimes when we fall down while playing and get hurt, the skin that is bruised grows back in a few days. Have you ever wondered how this happens? This is because of the nourishment obtained from the food we eat. Food is therefore important as it enables the body to repair and replace worn out tissues. It also keeps the body healthy and helps it fight against diseases. Nutrients can be defined as chemical substances present in food that provide nourishment which is essential for growth and maintenance of our body. Let us now move on to the main topic which is sources of food. A large variety of food is available in different forms. This is due to the fact that food habits differ according to a place a person lives in and the different seasons that we experience throughout the year. For example, mangoes are available in summer and strawberries are available in winter. This is with respect to the different seasons. Now with respect to place, chapatis as we have seen are famous in North India while rice is famous in the South. Food items can be eaten raw or prepared by mixing individual food items. Can you name a few food items that can be eaten raw? Yes, fruits and vegetables can be eaten raw whereas food items such as idli, dosa, dhokla and cakes are prepared by mixing food items. Ingredients are the different food items that make up a delicious dish. If you have ever tried making a dish or if you ask your mother that if she has tried to make a new dish, she might tell you that when she goes through the recipe, there are a list of ingredients that are mentioned to make up a dish. Do you know the ingredients present in cooked rice? It is rice and water. On the other hand, what are the ingredients for making biryani? There is rice, water, salt, spices, vegetables, meat and oil. Food can be obtained from both plants and animals. Let us first look at foods obtained from. Food can be obtained from both plants and animals. Let us first look at foods obtained from plants. Cereals are seeds mostly obtained from grasses such as barley, wheat, maize, millet, oats, rice and dry. As we saw earlier, rice is popular in the southern and eastern parts of India while wheat is popular in the northern and western parts of India. Wheat is ground into flour to make bread, macaroni and noodles. Don't we all love macaroni and noodles? The next type of foods obtained from plants are fruits and vegetables. Fruits are formed from the flowers of different plants. For example, banana, apple, orange, plum, etc. Vegetables can be obtained from different parts of a plant such as root vegetables. For example, potato, carrots, radish. There is leaf vegetables which are spinach and lettuce. The third one is fruit vegetables where there is pumpkin, okra, tomatoes. Did you know tomatoes were fruit vegetables? We all thought it was just a vegetable. However, tomato is also known as a fruit vegetable. Inflorescence vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower. They are called inflorescence vegetables because they are a part of the flower of that plant. Next we have stem vegetables. These are bamboo shoots, asparagus, etc. Other foods that we get from plants include nuts such as groundnuts, cashew nuts, peanuts. There are herbs such as coriander, mint, celery and parsley. Oils such as sesame oil, sunflower oil, mustard oil which are obtained from the seeds of sesame, sunflower and mustard plants. Beverages such as coffee, cocoa and tea are obtained from coffee beans, cocoa beans and tea leaves. Spices such as cardamom, cloves and cinnamon are also obtained from plants. These are the ones which give flavor to our food. Let us now find out what are the various foods that are obtained from animals. First we have meat. Meat refers to the muscles and other parts of an animal's body that we eat. We may get meat from fish, poultry, cattle 
and sheep. Next we have eggs. These are obtained from hens, ducks and fish. Third one is milk and its produce. These are obtained from cows, goats, camels and other such animals. Still, some milk products are butter, buttermilk, cheese, cream and curd which is also known as yogurt. Honey is produced by bees. Honeybees convert the nectar that they collect from flowers into honey. They store this honey in their hives. Let us now look at what are the various food habits of animals. Plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. We all know that photosynthesis is the process through which plants make their own food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. All animals including humans depend on plants for food since they cannot make their own food. They either eat plants or other animals that eat plants. Animals are herbivores, carnivores or omnivores depending on what they eat. Let us first understand what is meant by herbivores. Plant eating animals like cows, horses, elephants are known as herbivores. Animals like squirrels and mice have sharp cutting teeth in the front. They use this to eat seeds and nuts. Animals like cows and buffaloes have flat and blunt molars which they use to chew and grind grass. This is called mastication. If you observe cows sitting around on the road or in a garden, you will see that they are sitting in one place and chewing. This process is known as mastication. Next we have carnivores. Animals that eat other animals are known as carnivores. For example, lions, wolves, eagles. As against herbivores which eat only plants, carnivores eat only other animals. Carnivorous birds have strong pointed beaks used to tear flesh. Carnivorous animals have long sharp canines as you can see in this picture of this lioness which helps them to tear meat. Frogs have a long sticky tongue which they use to catch their prey. Snakes on the other hand swallow their prey as a whole and thus have small teeth. Third category we have is omnivores. Animals that eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores. Humans are omnivores as they eat both plants and animals. Some carnivores and omnivores do not kill other animals for food. Instead, they consume the meat of animals that are already dead. For example, vultures, crows, jackals, etc. Let us move on to understand what is meant by food chain. The feeding relationship between animals is called a food chain. A food chain shows the interdependence of organisms on each other. Interdependence of organisms means how a plant is dependent on an animal, how an animal is dependent on a human being and how a human being is in turn dependent on plants. All food chains start with green plants. Let us understand what is a primary food chain. First we have green plants which are known as producers. Next we have primary consumers for example a goat. Next we have secondary consumers which are human beings. This shows the interdependence between plants, animals and human beings. So children, in this video, we learned that food is important for nourishment, growth and development of the body. Foods are obtained from both plants and animals. Animals can be herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. We also learned that humans are omnivores. The feeding relationship between animals is known as food chain. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned the various sources of food and its importance. To take a quiz or read notes on this chapter, click on the link below. Thank you.